vaccine manufacturing facilities of the future uh, challenges in the production of vaccines different technology platforms make it difficult to standardize facilities design and equipment unique facility and equipment may be necessary for each vaccine or class of vaccine many vaccines are typically low volume high throughput products many vaccines contain multiple strains or or subsist units um, Influenza vaccines contain antigens from three different strains, multiple upstream, downstream processes, single formulation, for, uh, formulation and fill process, PRIVNAR. Current vaccine manufacturing facility, large hard pipe stainless, stainless steel based facilities with stainless steel bioreactor. Very, very expensive to build and validate. Construction cost 300 million. Construction timeline 2 to 5 years or more. Har large hard pipe stainless steel base facilities with uh, stainless steel bioreactor controlled environment highly classified suits tightly controlled flow of people materials and equipment huge utilities for wfi hvac clean system extensive piping transfer panels complex operations complex supply chain and manufacturing so, uh, a scale of upstream processes generally not significant compared to other biopharmaceutical products vaccine manufacturing facility traditionally require long lead time and large capital investments on predictability of demand necessary flexible facility technology advancements
technology advancements, highly purified and characterized products, cell culture, replacing egg based technology, introduction of disposable technology. Driving forces for single-use technologies improve return on capital, reduce and deferred capital investment, reduce processes, process equipment complexity, reduce facility complexity and cost, faster construction, commissioning and launch, no change over cleaning, validation between strains products, significant reduction in facility equipment validation. Disposable options across entire manufacturing flow path, cell culture, recovery downstream processing, buffer prep storage. Current status of disposable systems, almost all the unit operations and process components in use in biomanufacturing can be replaced by disposables. The cost benefit, the cost benefit, uh, convenience and flexibility of moving to disposables are well documented. More and more vendors are developing single use and disposable products. Companies are now, are now moving to disposables for clinical and potential commercial manufacturing. A completely disposable manufacturing flow path should be possible in the foreseeable future. Process scale disposable bioreactor, Accelerax, uh, Sartorius, Stadium, Therm Thermo Fisher, and H A ATMI. stainless steel versus disposable rea bioreactor compatible cell growth and productivity productivity no cleaning or sterilization required fast turnaround Production of influenza vaccine, cell substrate pre 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 preparation, infect and incubate, uh, remove cells, purify a VLF, inactivate virus.
Sanofi egg based facility no buy reactor 600k eggs per day uh, 100 how come there's no buy reactor Disposable technologies changing manufacturing facilities increase facility utilization by reducing change over time, reduce fixing pi fixed piping, reducing cleaning and validation costs in multi product operations, improve process portability, easier to manage and implement process changes. reduced uh, fixed piping reduce next generation vaccine manufacturing facility BBTC and Pharma Deal have partnered to develop new modular biomanufacturing facility A standard design incorporates multi product capabilities maximum flexibility and disposable technologies designed for disposable bioreactors up to 2,000 liters potential for multiple bioreactors per module. Designed to meet BSL-2 requirements, Inoculum bulk API filing under LAF protection, protection in Class C, Class D for cell cultures, downstream processing, dish unloading, media and buffer preparation. Uh, batch duration 8 weeks including change over times 4 weeks in a clone train 2 weeks bioreactor 1 week purification 1 week final purification 1 batch per month with overlap of in a clone preparation what the fuck is this
Oh shit. Inoculum. Inoculum. A substance used in inoculation. What is it? Designed to meet BSL-2 requirements, uh, in a claim So I'm just moving the Bunsen again to the hottest part of the flame, sterilizing the straight wire till it's red <laughs> Oh, yeah, white lady, yeah, hot. Because yes. you want to make sure that the only bacteria that you're actually inoculating into those Hugh and Leafs and Zagar media are just the bacterium that's on here. Okay, so this is the bacteria on the agar plate. And I'm just going to pick one colony. That will be sufficient. And then inoculating first the first tube, going straight down, and then going to the second tube, doing exactly the same, going straight down and inoculating. And what we're going to be demonstrating with Hugh and Leafson's media is how to incubate bacteria aerobically and anaerobically. So taking some liquid paraffin, probably need about that much, and then just topping up one of those tubes with paraffin oil just to simulate anaerobic conditions, and that would be sufficient paraffin oil there.
Daniela. Designed to meet BSL2 requirements in a claim. What the fuck? Inoculum. Inoculum. Inoculum bulk API filing filling under a L A F protection in class C, class D for cell culture, downstream processing, dish unloading, media and buffer preparation, preparation pre preparation. Holy shit. Preparation. 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 Buffer preparation for final steps in Class D. Media and buffer storage and controlled non-classified areas. Batch duration 8 weeks including change over times. 4 weeks inoculum train. 2 weeks bioreactor. 1 week purification. One week final purification. Thank you. 